hey, focus. Save that for Grinder. I love that you think I have enough self-esteem to be on Grinder. Our next guest, Ryan O'Connell, came out of the closet not once, but twice, and in the process is changing a conversation in Hollywood. All that at the tender age of 32. Hi, Ryan, welcome to the round. Oh, I didn't know my age was tender. I love that. <laughs> I thought it was hardened. I thought it was it? a hardened 32. No, well, you're oh, I love baby. that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about your show, Special. It's about a guy named Ryan who is gay. He has cerebral palsy. Yeah. And gets hit by a car and essentially uses that to redefine himself as a, a victim of a car accident? Yeah, so basically this all happened to me. <laughs> Not to brag, I got hit by a car after having CP. But then I moved to New York after it happened. People assumed that my limp was from my accident and I kind of just ran with it because in my eyes, I felt like everyone could kind of relate to being an accident victim because it could happen to any one of us. But with CP, it's like, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's cerebral palsy. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, like people don't really understand it. I think it brings a lot of confusion. So to me, it was just sort of a shortcut, a shortcut that ended up cutting myself. Because <laughs> it was like, you know, when you're not being honest with yourself and others about who you are as a person, it creates problems. And in my case, a Netflix show. How much of this is actually based on reality? It depends on the day. I feel like like some days I'm like, this is all me, like autobiographical, like mm, bleed, bleed, bleed. Uh, and others I'm like, I don't know this bitch. <laughs> like, it's like, I don't know. It's just, it, it is very personal. Like, it, but I was never, my arrested development was never as bad as the character of Ryan. Like I moved out when I was 18. I didn't stay with living with mom until I was 28. God forbid, I had friends you know, lost my virginity at 18, not 28. Again, not to brag, but you know. <laughs> it is very personal though. I mean, even if things haven't directly happened to me, it's coming from a place that's real and honest and all that stuff, so. There's been a lot of conversation, obviously, in Hollywood about uh, actors with disability. Um, mm -hmm. The push for diversity has included women, has included uh, uh, LGBT people. Mm -hmm. um, and disabled and people are just like, honey, look over here. Exactly. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> Yeah, it's been frustrating. It's been really frustrating because I feel like, um, especially in today's like outrage culture, when people are truly getting outraged about like every little thing, I'm kind of like, well, honey, can you spare some of that outrage and put it over here? Um, because disabled people have been trolled by society forever. Um, yeah, it's it's frustrating. I don't know why disabled people don't get attention. There's no real dialogue happening, and I think people are so scared of offending them or how to navigate it. And I think that just all sucks and needs to change ASAP. There's been this whole notion that Hollywood loves disabled people when it comes to getting that role for the Oscar. But yeah. Not really for hiring uh, people with disability for those roles. How do you feel about that, that argument? I feel lots of things. I mean, I think that Hollywood loves to profit off the pain of marginalized people without giving us like any opportunities. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, for example, for gay movies, it's usually always predicated upon some sort of tragedy. Like we're always getting beaten up by a baseball bat at the end of the movie. And I'm done. I'm done with getting, I'm done with metaphorically getting beaten by a baseball bat. I just want to see gay men living, laughing, and loving. Or it's like you know they they're going to like uh, conversion therapy. Again, those stories are really valid and they deserve to be told. But when it's the only kind of story being told, that's a problem. And for me, in terms of giving a disabled person a part, I'm not saying that actors can't play something that they're not, but when the world is structured in a way where disabled people have no opportunities, like for example, on my show, there are a lot of gay characters, and it was really important to me that I hire gay actors playing that role. Is that because I think straight people can't play gay? No, but I know a lot of talented gay actors that don't have the same opportunities as straight actors because they're gay, and that's just the world we live in. And until that can be like rectified, you bet I'm gonna give opportunities to people that don't have them. That's what you have to do. You have to protect the powerless and like give them opportunities. That's the only way they can advance.